Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Um, this is going to be a review about the new Blackland uh, adjustable razor. Um, I was very kindly contacted by Blackland and I'm only one of four, I think there's only four YouTubers have been sent this razor to review. Um, I've not actually shaved with it yet, I just got it in the mail today so um, this is my kind of thoughts on how it looks and the packaging and stuff like that which I'll show you guys as well. Uh, so it comes in this black box um, with the Blackland logo there, nice sturdy cardboard box. Um, you get a little card in the box as well, it said um, Blackland thanks you, welcome to the family. Shane Schwarzlander, Shane Schwarzlander, he's the founder of Blackland Razors and there's all their uh, social media stuff on the bottom, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Uh, on the back there, it's a, a kind of a picture of some mountains and the Blackland logo again. So in the box, uh, let me just put this here, I'll show you the razor in a minute. Uh, you get a Blackland card again, uh, and on the back of that it says made in the USA, razor care and the Blackland guarantee. Um, you just leveled up your shave, it says up here. So that's the, uh, the little Thing that you get and there's the website at the bottom blacklandrazors.com so this is a new adjustable from blackland razors here it's here comes in this box you can take this bit out and underneath there's a little cut out for a stand and another head there and uh, they're supplied with five blades and these are persona blades which are made in the usa uh, this razor is all made in the usa uh, stainless steel uh, the name of it is the Osprey it's named after the uh, Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft which I'll put a little picture of uh, up in the um, on this side of the screen uh, here uh, so that's the aircraft there uh, like all Blackland razors or the Sabre the Vector and the Blackbird they're all named after US military aircraft. So this is the Osprey, which is named after the V-22 tilt rotor aircraft. So here it is in the box. Uh, yeah, this is the first adjustable from Blackland Razors. Uh, let me just take it out of the box and I'll show you in a bit more detail. Right, put the box there. Uh, right, so it's an adjustable razor. It's very, very nice to look at. Uh, stainless steel and inside the handle here uh, you can see there's a, a brass insert. Let me just show you the razor up close. Uh, you can see it there. Yeah, all stainless steel. Uh, very nice. So this um, handle, there's the, the adjustable dial there. It goes one to nine. This handle was modelled on or based on a a skyscraper called the Taipei 101. Um, the Taipei 101, uh, it's a big tall skyscraper. I'll show you a picture of that right now actually. And inside that there's a thing called a tuned mass damper, which is a big weight right in the middle of the building and it just stops it from, um, if it's windy, it stops the building from swaying too much. It just kind of balances it. Uh, it just damps the wind down and uh, yeah, it just keeps the building more stable. So that's what this is based on. Um, Shane at Blackland Razors loved that design so he wanted to put something in here uh, in the middle here so let me just show you the razor again um, so on this side there's the arrow for your uh, adjustable setting uh, on the other side it says Blackland obviously you use this side to dial in the number that you want to shave with um, it's one, one to nine, you can see them there, one through to nine. Uh, and the thing about this is, there's not many uh, three-piece adjustable razors. Lots of two-piece and one-piece, the, the old Gillette's and the, the Merker Progress is a two-piece and the uh, Parker Variant is a two-piece, but this is a three-piece razor. Uh, and I'll show you, I'll take it apart. So there's the handle here, there's the top cap. 
and there's the the base. Yeah, um, there's a great video on YouTube from Shane at um, Blackland Razors. He kind of describes how it was all designed and stuff like that. Very, very interesting, actually, if you're into that sort of thing. But these little cutouts, it was all done to uh, reduce the weight, stuff like that. The razor, um, all together, put together is 105 grams. Um, and you could take out this little brass piece, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and if you take that out to make it lighter for yourself, it's 88 grams. Now you'll see this bit here. Um, there's a little bit of play in this plate. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to... Yeah, you can see that there. But the way that's designed, that when you put the uh, top cap back on and screw the handle in, everything's locked in. Uh, so there's no play at all on this head. Um, I'll just take it apart again and show you. Uh, let me just put that there. Yeah, so here's the... Uh, Here's the kind of where all the mechanisms and stuff are and that there's the the numbers there one through to nine this is just a, a dial you can turn that yeah obviously with this side with the arrow uh, which you can see there that shows you what number you're on um, and I'll show you how to how it adjusts you screw the handle on so let's say you have it on just now it's on setting two if you want to change it up what you do is just loosen the handle a little bit turn the adjuster to whatever number you want to go on uh, i went to, to three there yeah so that's how you do it you just unscrew the handle a little bit just loosen it off and this easily turns but when you screw the handle back in it locks there's no way that's going to move um there's little ridges on the side here you can just see these here for um, easy to hold. The handle actually feels, you can't see it on the, on the video, but it feels like there's, um, there's a little grip on it. The way it's been machined, it feels really nice to hold. And obviously these inserts, um, these grooves here, make it um, even nicer to hold. Right, so I'll show you. I'll show you this little brass insert. So it's a hollow handle, and you can see it there. Uh, it, see, it has like a flat head uh, slot there. So if you want to take that out, get a small screwdriver. Just unscrew it. As you can see I'm doing now, and that brass piece comes out like that. There's the brass piece there, and that makes it lighter. If you prefer a, like a lighter razor, um, more head heavy, it just changes the balance, making it even more adjustable um, in, a, in a sense. Yeah, and to put the brass bit back in, you just put it into the hollow handle and then screw it back in again. Where are we? It's kind of hard to just see where that is, but once you get the screwdriver in, it's just a two or three turns, and that's all uh, locked back in again. Yeah, it's a very nice design. I'm not sure the price point yet. I was just sent this. As I say, I've literally um, opened the package today, uh, so I've not even shaved with it yet, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. It's very, very nice, actually. Very unique. And there is, I'll put a link in the description to um, Blackland Razors. They have a, a video about the uh, the design of this and how they've came up with it and tweaked it and stuff like that. I'll put, I think there's about six videos, but number six is the most interesting for me because that's when everything kind of comes together and um, you get Shane talking about everything and the amount of uh, research and development that's went into this is uh, unbelievable. Yeah, so I'm not sure of the price point, as I say, but I think it's released on the 22nd of this month, so the 22nd of September, so not too long to wait now. But um, yeah, let me just show you that. I'll, I'll take some close-ups um, at the end, and you can see it all, uh, how it looks and stuff like that. But very, very nice. The new Blackland Osprey uh, Razor. 
adjustable razor from Blackland razors. Yeah, if it's anything like other Blackland razors, it will be very, very good. Um, so you've got the whole range of adjustable settings there from one right through to nine. And it doesn't lock in place. You can move it as much as you want. Like you can have it 3.5 or 4.5 or 6.2 or 8.5 or whatever you want. Yeah, so right, that's it there. The new Blackland Osprey. Right, I'll take some uh, close-ups now and you can take a look at it. Stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to shave with it. And I'll give you my thoughts on that, and we'll see how it feels with the adjustments and stuff like that. Okay, so there it is there. The new Blackland Osprey. Right, I'll get some close-ups, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.